guys, I'm outside. Oh my god, the light is really, really bad here. I'm also kind of nervous walking, walking right in front of my house, but screw this. Um, we're going to Pixel Heaven Fest. I'm just going to a bus stop right now. And yes, I'm just gonna buy my ticket. looking for quite a while for some calm place the lighting is bad but it's, uh, it's so loud you wouldn't be able to hear me at all so I'm just standing out there in the Sun and my god guys it's amazing it's my like kind of uh, thingy there's also this thing you can see it well but I'm sorry for that yeah sorry for the lighting like I'm right in the sun, so wrong direction. Now you can actually see something behind me. See the place. Let me get you this area. I recorded some really cool stuff. There'll be a lot of showing of what's inside and etc. etc. So I'm just going to go in, enjoy myself, and record whatever there is. I will not be talking much because like I said it's so freaking loud you wouldn't be hearing me so I'm coming back in and yeah I, I record stuff for you and after I come home I'll do a recap of what I bought and what it was like and everything Yeah, um, Commodore went out of business in April 1994, and then uh, I lost my job, of course, but I loved the, com the company so much, and I looked after the investor, and then I find ESCOM. And under the umbrella of ESCOM, I started then to produce the A4000 in the States and the A1200 in France. And this is uh, the first board which came out of the production in September 1995 from Solectron in uh, uh, Bordeaux. And this is uh, the A4000 tower, 
which I manufactured in the United States because the United States for the A4000 tower was a very strong market. And then also for Europe, we imported this then from the States. And this was the last model, the uh, prototype Amiga Walker. There are two, two um, pieces only. I got two pieces from the liquidator when we liquidated the things. And I kept it maybe 20 years in my cupboard. And then I put it out and it still works. One I have given away free of charge to a French guy. And the other one um, I sold, unfortunately, my whole uh, museum, which I collected over 20 years. Because I'm 17 years, three years old, and you never know. Better to give it with a warm hand than with a cold hand. So. Also OSVR and uh, flat desktops. Okay. Uh, in this game you land on an alien planet. Uh, because of the spaceship failure you have to uh, replenish the supplies. And uh, when you reach the planet uh, you want to buy the supplies. But unfortunately all the citizens of this planet uh, disappeared. And uh, your task is to uh, find the uh, supplies of fuel and also if you want you may dig into the story of these citizens and try to uh, find out what happened and maybe even help these citizens to come back to their planet uh, so is there any combat anything like this in no, game? It's, no it's like uh, like a walking simulator with a lot of puzzles so it's like uh -huh, so it's more game. like just adventure type of yeah. game it's a puzzle adventure we, we will okay do. okay uh, so uh, there are some cool features uh, dedicated for, like, like, made especially with VR in mind, like walking on uh, walls and uh, roofs with, okay. uh, with help of uh, variable gravity. You can shift the gravity and just like in the old, like, like a game Prey, you might, you might heard about okay. this game. Uh, and you can also shrink and grow because this game is uh, based on the Alice in Wonderland novel oh, by uh, okay. uh, Lewis Car Carroll and so thanks to this you can uh, for instance use the special like you, can, you press a special button and you shrink into the very little size so we can go oh, okay. into some cool. households for instance and uh, change like in, you can uh, Decide, for instance, just to grow and then like overcome some some obstacles, for instance, or shrink and move beyond the I see. stones to find the other way. And you can so also. So do do we find some kind of uh, creature, citizens of this planet? Because it's like some unknown planet for us, yes. right? So do we do we have any interaction? Or it's just us uh, going for the world. Actually, it's a part of the story that I cannot reveal at this uh -huh. moment. Okay, no the, problem, no uh, problem. The story. So, but it's not like you only like. It's not like a mist game when you on, where where you only okay. like explore okay. the story. You can also uh, take part in the story. Alrighty, uh, your game will be available only on our ear. Sorry? Uh, game will be available only on virtual reality. No, you can also play oh, on the plus okay. screens. Okay, yes, okay. So. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Like, Symmetry to taki e, time management w klimacie post-apo. Mm -hmm. e, mamy tutaj grupę załogę, która teoretycznie miała wykonać bardzo prostą misję, czyli przylecieć na niej zamieszkałą od wielu, wielu lat planetę, pobrać próbki i uciec, czy wrócić, przepraszam, ale oczywiście okazało się, że w próbie lądowania wszystko ogłoszyło się źle. Załoga dzieli się na dwie części. Jedna ląduje w tym miejscu, w którym teraz gramy w wersji alfa, a druga część będzie dochodziła systematycznie. Chodzi o to, żeby grać na początku nie musiał się zarządzać ośmioma osobami. My mamy również wybory moralne, bo być może na pewnym etapie będziemy musieli zadecydować, czy e, całą załogą da się nam przetrwać tak długo, żebyśmy mogli naprawić statek i wrócić. Świat symetryczny, który nas, który 
element tego działania istnieje, dopiero dowiemy się w trakcie gry. Świat mm -hmm. który zmienia ludzi, wpływa na ich psychikę, zmienia, prze, przekłamuje wyniki. E, czyli generalnie moim zadaniem jest przetrwać się najdłużej, ponieważ każdy dzień dłużej na planecie, to jest dzień więcej na naprawę stanu. So our game is Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Uh, it was meant to be uh, a combination of games like Disgaea and Persona, Final Fantasy Tactics, because basically me and my brother were huge fans of JRPGs, and we've always okay. wanted we've always wanted to make a JRPG. So you know, uh, and we one day we sat down and thought, wait a minute, there, there aren't really any JRPGs on PC, so let's make one. <laughs> and uh, that's exactly it. We we managed to fund ourselves on Kickstarter. We you know, we created a studio and... Uh, so you ran a Kickstarter as yeah, successful Yeah, we ran a Kickstarter, one. we asked for... Uh, we, we, we had a Kickstarter uh, around the uh, summer vacation, summer vacations last uh, year. Okay. And uh, we asked for $40,000 and we managed mm -hmm. to collect 90. So basically, uh, since, it's, since it's inspired by this Gaia and uh, Persona, it's meant to be more, you know, uh, lightweight. Uh, okay. Uh, it's meant to be fun, lighthearted a more comedic game because uh, you have uh, our main uh, hero uh, which uh, he's not really visible here but uh, <laughs> our main, you know this is basically uh, return of the king but uh, upside down there's this hero who learns that he's uh, the inheritor of a you know of a huge kingdom of, a, of, okay. a, of an ancient kingdom and he uh, are, uh, and when he arrives it turns out that it's not exactly you know uh, as wonderful as he thought, because okay. everything is in ruins. There's uh, uh, there's a huge debt that was left behind by his ancestors, and you know uh, the peasants are revolting, and uh, All right. and basically he, he doesn't want to be king. He's this classic uh, meek, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, manga anime J J Japanese protagonist who doesn't. Uh, who's not exactly very competent. And okay, okay. Yeah, so he has, uh, he has two sisters, one, uh, uh, one of which is very sweet, the other is pretty bitchy. <laughs> he has a hyper-competent hyper sidekick, who in a regular game would probably be the hero, but you know, he's stuck babysitting, uh, the meek protagonist. And basically, yeah, so there's a huge debt, nobody respects him. And uh, like in Persona, uh, this is balanced by time. Since everything you do in game uh, uh, causes the time to pass, right? There's the calendar mechanic. And okay. he, every three months, you have to, uh, uh, your actions are summarized and uh, you are judged whether you manage to fulfill the goals or not. So uh, you have to constantly race against the clock to fulfill, fulfill those, go those goals. And meanwhile, you have this uh, plot about you know, uh, him growing as a protagonist, as a king, uh, over the course of two years. So it's so sort of intertwined. I see. All right, your game will be available on Steam? Yeah, we, we, okay. we, we passed uh, we passed the from green light and we All right. uh, yeah so yeah and it's uh, on uh, on Steam and on PlayStation 4 and Facebook. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, so this is for a little recap. What you see here is freaking rain because it's raining and the lightning is not bad here. I, I'm hiding at the bus stop. Uh, so I don't get wet, I don't get my things wet, but basically I wanted to do a little recap thing uh, because I want to have time later and I want, and when I'm home I want to do something very special um, My freaking hand, can you not cover it? Thank you. Something special which is basically like loot kind of video because I got a lot of stuff uh, I think you guys love to see it, so I'm gonna do that and Pixel Heaven, amazing place, amazing, amazing content. It was like a really small one, but it was so intense for me. And basically, I spent like five hours there. I didn't spend all the time, but I'm happy with who I am. Um, I'm happy because I could leave from my mom and it's fucking raining. I I would get my uh, poster sweat and crumble if she didn't, uh, you know, come here. I'm just waiting for her right now. Um, and also, I wasted all my money on <laughs> shit. All, all kinds of things like t-shirts games I will show it to you all and I don't have money for food and I also forgot to eat breakfast so it's like almost 4 p.m. and I have not eaten a thing today 
which is not the ideal situation so I'm not going to stay uh, five more hours to be hungry but hey that was amazing day I was I want to do more I think that the best thing about everything here is that I really felt like this is what I want to do like the content creator thing the content creator thing uh, in how the game stuff thing is doing stuff the indie games they're so amazing indie games I, I'm sure I already saw show you all the interviews and stuff and oh my god all this this was basically perfect I want to be here next year I, I would love to like go for the whole free day thing I got I got some free shit too like wow the people are giving me things um I yeah I got I got a lot of things not gonna say more uh, I'll show it to you when I'll be doing the loot video. I'll also be showing you guys some special video. I hope you'll enjoy. I, I tried for well here for the first time. I couldn't show it to you guys. It was for a very short while, but the wow ear, oh my god. Just so... Oh my god. I'm not made for wow ear because I feel really sick when trying it, but this is like such an amazing brand new experience that everyone should you know try if they have a chance if you have a chance i know it's a freaking expensive thing so if you have a chance to check it out you should it it, it blows your mind it you cannot even explain it but anyway guys not to make the recap too long i hope you enjoyed this little video i hope you enjoy coming here with me i enjoy my time there and yeah Thanks for watching.